Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Paramedium Nightfall. Doing it with some different weapons just to let you guys know that there are other weapons available now that Thunderlord has had its big nerf. So we're doing it on the Hunter, uh, Top Tree the, the subclass, we are the Trapper, we're using Orpheus Rig. Uh, Perfect Paradox is my primary, Limb Monarch is my energy, and Tarantula is my heavy. And I'm running Arc Singe, Heavyweight and Momentum. So I used to, I used to be a really big fan of the tarantula, and then I don't know other, other weapons come along. Whisper came along, and you know there were there were other weapons that that actually done the job better. But in the recent kind of uh, weapon balancing, I say, I say the Thunderlog got a nerf. It just had its damage on bosses reduced by twenty percent. Uh, but linear fusion rifle rifles, uh, they were buffed by twenty percent. So. I wanted to see if they were a viable option, and yep, they are. The Tarantula used to be one of my favourites. In fact, it was my favourite. I preferred it to. I preferred it to Sleeper Simulant. Holds more ammo, more, more range, more on the mag, faster charge rate. Just a better all round weapon, I thought. Although Sleeper Simulant done more damage for what you know for the for the ammo it had, but. Uh, I just, it's a year one weapon, so it won't drop. You'll have to buy it from your collections if you earned it in year one. Uh, it comes with snapshot sights. It's, it had a buff before this buff. It had a buff uh, increasing its charge rate, so it, so it fires really, really quickly. In fact, you might have noticed at the start, I hadn't adjusted properly to, the, to how fast it fires because I was used to a different fire rate. So what I've done in this first area is we've killed the, the four the four elite uh, goblins and then I've I've activated the plates. Now the way I've activated the plates is I've activated the first plate and I've ran to the second one. I haven't killed the ads. I've tried to activate the plate while the ads were still up. You do a bit of a skip, you don't get a second wave of goblins. And if you're not doing a high score run, you don't need a second wave of goblins. I will get back to trying to do high, well, not trying, I will get back to putting our high score runs out. I just don't think they're very practical at the moment with people's power levels, maybe not all at the same. So I feel as if I'd done one now, it would just be a case of, oh, look, I can, do, you know, it wouldn't be a guide. I couldn't I couldn't call it a guide because, I, I, you know, not everybody would be able to replicate it. But again, if you guys want to see a high score run, let me know in the comment section. And if I get enough shouts for it, I'll try and get one done ASAP. So we're going to skip this whole section. We're just going to kill these ads up top just to get you know get some heavy. And I've found you do drop a fair amount of heavy here. Now I don't have any heavy ammo finder on. It's all heavyweight that's dropping this. So I think I get three bricks here, but I do have linear fusion rifle scavenger on, so that I get the maximum amount from each brick and now we're just going to skip this whole area so while i'm skipping this area let me ask you guys who did you choose to pledge with first if you've got multiple characters you can pledge to the vanguard and the drifter on different characters but who did you guys choose first uh i i had a bit of a joke with my my team that uh, i wasn't going to tell them who i pledged to because it's it's a intensely personal decision. It wasn't. I just wanted to find out what they'd done first. <laughs> I, I did tell them. But if you guys tell me who you pledged to, I'll tell you who I pledged to first. And why did you choose to pledge to that faction first? The Drifter or the Vanguard? I, I Stuff like that interests me. So Was it just I, I wanted to see both sides of it? If so, what made you pledge to that faction first? And what do you guys think about the Thorn Quest? Just just a little bit, just a little bit about this section we're doing now before I, I speak any more about that. Uh, te tether placements, it's key here for making this section. Tether placement in a few of these areas, it's not just about having a tether and getting your tether back. That's not what it's about. It's about putting it in the right place. So I tried to tether in between both sets of ads. So that I captured both sets of ads and doing damage on the elite, if I had needed to just do the damage on the elite, would have killed the ads. 
So we're not going to have a tether for this next part, which is fine, because there's not really a lot going to go on here. There's a wizard. We've got the... You, know, you can either have Vex or Taken. We've got Taken Incarnation. So now we're going to have a Taken Knight spawn just up to our right in this Taken Wizard. Now, you do get a lot of Void in here. That's why the Limon Arc is so good. That explosive headshot if you get the perfect the perfect pull. And I've kind of... I want this without being too boastful. I've kind of mastered the pull. So I, I do it without thinking now. And the, the void explosions, they, they do half your work for you. So there's the knight. So we'll put a couple on him just to get the burn going. And then one linear. It was a body because he still had shield. And then finish him off with the bolt. We'll take these snipers. Get, get that explosive and take a shield which will finish all the rest of them. Get this sniper if he'd stop moving. And we've got a couple of enemies left up here and that should be this area done then we move on to the vex and again it's all about placing your tether at the right place you know capturing as many ads as possible so with this tether we want to tether at the bottom of the ramp we want to capture the minotaurs and the vex when they come out and just make this section very quick and, and it is it's it's what 15 seconds 20 seconds very easy and it tethers because we tethered so far up it tethers the next wave of ads, and that's that section clear. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy that I thought the thorn wasn't going to act it. I thought it wasn't going to become live till Friday, so it was a pleasant surprise. But uh, what was even nicer was to see hydronic essence and plasteel plating and spin metal wire. They they were the materials that you used in year one of Destiny One to upgrade certain so. Uh, hydronic essence is what you use to upgrade the warlock's armor plasteel plating was the titan and spin metal wire was the hunter that's i think it i hope i'm saying that right it is spin metal wire it was like a blue wire uh it's nice to see them building bridges between destiny one and two and i think we're going to see a lot more of that in the coming year until d3 a year or two however long d3 takes uh as they try and reconnect with the fan base. And it, it can only be good because Destiny 1, it should never have been left behind the way it was. You know, all the all the systems of Destiny 1. They should never have tried to rebuild. You know, there is that adage, don't, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Destiny 1, it wasn't perfect, but they could have sorted a lot of problems and released whatever, you know... The systems that were in place in D1, they could have released D2 with those systems. Now, I'm not I'm not going to go too much into that conversation, but it's nice to see them trying to make build that bridge. That's kind of what I'm saying. So, the reason I take all the ads from up here is I don't want to activate the next wave of ads. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear these ads. We've dropped a lot of heavy, get our health back. And then we're not going to activate this plate here because if you do, you end up with two hydras, especially in this version. If it's the taken version, it's uh, it's uh, taken cabal, arc shielded cabal. We don't we don't want two of those. And as you can see there, I've got that burn going. Really good for the ads. Uh, so if we activate this plate first. Still, we, know, we know we've still got a Vex up there, but it's just a, no, a, a normal goblin. He'll hide. If we activate that plate first, and then we go to this plate, we're only going to get one Hydra. It's the same principle as the first, the first uh, area with the plates. You get a you get a you get a, a a skip on the ads, and that that can, that that's always going to be good. So as you can see, I'm, I'm popping off a bit heavy because I, I can see all that heavy. Now we've got one more plate. And then once we kill these ads, we won't get any more ads. Now, the, this you, what's coming up here is the very reason I decided to run a shotgun. Because these minotaurs can be a pain in the backside. And we know we're going to have some on the fin in the final boss room. And the shotgun just says, stop, think about it while you're asleep. Or words to that effect. 
I can't say what I'd really say because <laughs> it's a family friendly channel. Uh, so now that we've cleared that, we're going to make our way towards this next section. What how what are you guys thinking about Joker's World? How are you liking it so far? Uh, have, have many of you managed to beat Tier 2 of the Reckoning? I have actually done it. I've beat it quite a few times. I have never got a decent recording where... Because it's always been randoms I've done it with. So I haven't had a decent recording where, you know, there wasn't 200 deaths in the run. So hopefully we'll try and get something up over the weekend... Uh, well, before the weekend, sorry, of, of, of a repeatable way. There, there is a strategy that we employed, and it's it's probably the same strategy everybody's employed, to be fair. I don't really watch a lot of videos of strategies. I like to come up with my own. But I just don't see any other way to really do it. Effectively, repeatably. That's my, you guys know that's my mantra, repeatability. So what do you guys think of it so far? And I know... Just to add this in, I know some people have said oh, it's a bit it's a bit light on content. It's a season pass. It's about having content, new content, different content over a number of weeks and not having it all in the one go. So if you think it's a bit light, let's let's have let's have this conversation again in the next couple of weeks. Once once we've we've got a better understanding of what this content involves. But uh, do do you like Gambit Prime? I think I it definitely makes me not want to play Gambit anymore. Gambit Prime is is definitely better than Gambit. Uh, and again, the evolution with the armor sets and so, uh, can only be good. So I I personally like it. I personally like it. I like it a lot better than Black Armory. I wasn't I wasn't over enamored with Black Armory. And it wasn't because we were light on on content. I just wasn't a big fan of having four. The forges were cool and it was something new. But when you look back over it, we had four forges that all operated the same way. No variation. No, you know, although the, the layouts as a gammy was completely different to Gofan and which was completely different to Falundra, you know. But then you got to the pinnacle one that people were expecting to be, you know, it was a 650 and and it's it turned out to be the easiest forge, you know. Uh, Scourge was a good addition, always good to get a raid. Uh, now be labs. I think it's. I I don't know if I'm being too harsh on now be labs, but it just strikes me as just literally the biggest waste of time, because it was only good content for a small amount of the community, and that was the community that were actively trying to solve it the rest of us were like i mean i've, I've still never done it. it it holds no interest for me so anyway enough of my rambling clear all these ads before you get to this point and once you've cleared the ads push up to this point and tether at the bottom of the ramp and same thing bottom of the ramp and you'll clear all those ads that normally wander about invisible minotaurs now basically i think we've still got one or two little ads up but nothing major. Uh, just these ads on, on the corners. And as you can see, getting that burn is so important to just wipe them out. I think I think there's a couple of goblins left, if I'm being honest. So we've activated the, the pillars. So we just need these two. And we are good. And then we're on to the boss. I I was I was speaking to someone about this. And what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think this is one of the longer nightfalls? I never thought so, but it actually might be. I was looking at the time, and I even even looking back on it, I don't think I was like going slowly, but it's still like. I mean, it's all right. It's only fourteen minutes at the moment, but it's like what, seventeen, eighteen minutes. And I was looking back over some of the other runs I've done just to check, and some of them are like twenty-two minutes long. This is a long night, folks. It's not a lot you can really skip. So, so far, Lemonox took took its place as you know doing the most damage, 
really, uh, it's been the most used weapon. But now, this is where, for me, the tarantula comes into its own. Snapshot sights, the, the accuracy of it, the damage it does, and the range. So what I do is activate the boss, and then I'm going to come over here, and then we're going to try and get three decent shots on, 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 on the boss from there. And then three more here. And I'll just try and get my health back. Now we'll activate this plate from here. Just be careful for the boss's void flame. Now we're, we're, we're far enough away from it. We're still activating the plate. We're far enough away that uh, it doesn't really touch us. And now we can clear the other side or most of the other side. And as soon as this void fire goes away, what we're going to do is we're going to dodge, go invisible, pick up some ammo, get over here, we've got the shotgun out, get into cover, which is in front of this pillar here. And now that we're in cover, we can back onto the plate. Just make sure, when you back onto the plate, make sure that the sniper isn't, you can't see sniper. Now we're going to make our way over to the other plate. Now I'll, I'll push up here. Right, and what we want to do is we're going to try and activate the plate, but it, this is always tricky because his void, his void fire will hit you. So what we're going to do is just take out as many of these. Now that's that's something you have to watch out for. If anybody's wondering what happened there, one of the ads pushed up. As you can see, it was the Minotaur pushed up behind, and this is why we've got the shotgun. Because the shotgun will take care of any ads trying to encroach. So the other cool thing is obviously we dodge reload. So we can finish all these ads from here. Got dodge. And we'll just run, try and get our health back. There we go. Got our health. Activate the plate. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to tether over on the other side. It should grab all the ads and just make it really simple for us to, to kill all the ads. So get your Limon Arc out. Share the damage. Really simple. And then dodge. And what you want to do here when you dodge is you want to make it round behind this pillar while you're still invisible. Because he will still be aiming at the last place you were. So you can activate this plate with no fire. He will move, because we've done enough, he will move to the back, uh, and we're just going to finish him with a couple of shots. So as you can see, as soon as he lands, we get a couple of shots on him. And then reload, he's going to drop down to the middle. We get one shot on his head, and then you hit his middle. And there you go, guys. That actually was the last step I needed for the hydro Hadronic Essence for the Thorn. And I also managed to get the sniper rifle that drops from the Snipefall. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I always appreciate your viewership. If you're new to the channel, why not join the gang? Uh, any suggestions or any questions, leave them in the comment section. It's always good to... Um, all, I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.